Namaste. How's it going? In the past, I've talked about that after our mortal journey, this physical life, two elements shall remain experienced by our energetic and spiritual personalities or dimensions. Sound and vibration. These two elements coexist. They form part of our divine personality. Where we come from, the seed energy, the bitch. So before the world, before the physical matter, yeah, before the external sounds or anything our senses perceive and see, these two elements exist already before time. So they're boundless, they are limitless, they're pure, unaltered form of energy. So they are our divine personality. They're the source of everything we see and feel and hear around us. Yeah. And then we go back to that dimension after this mortal passing. Right. However, we can experience that realm you know, while living a mortal life during meditation. And then for today, I'll talk about uh, the layers of the sound and then the vibration they emit and then the associated personality attached to them in relation to our physical, mental, all the way to our spiritual dimensions. Okay. First is the gross sound. You know, the sound we hear around us, the environmental sound. So the sound of two objects tapping. That's gross sound. Yeah, my voice is a gross sound. Something which is made by physical matter. All right, two objects touching. Yeah, physical sound. And then there are instruments, physical instruments we can utilize for us to go past and refine our awareness of this sound. Okay. And then sounds, for example, the Tibetan bowl, the Tingsha bells, listening to relaxing music. Yeah. Those uh, sounds can transcend us from the gross uh, awareness to the subtle ones. All right. Hatha Yoga teaches us a technique so we can gain access of the subtle sounds while yeah, in a busy environment, this chaotic world, we can get into those uh, deeper you know, senses or deeper awareness yeah, by just a click of the finger yeah, when you need it, when you want it. And these sounds are the second layer. Yeah, the energetic sounds our inner body emits. Yeah, and this includes the sound of the nerve clusters or the chakras. Yes, yeah. Each uh, nerve clusters or centers emit vibrate or sounds um, depending on the, the points. And then that relates to the nervous system as well, different centers in the brain. All right, so by the way, going back to this uh, gross sound, the gross sound is associated with our conscious personality. Yeah, your wakeful consciousness. This, yeah, you're listening to me, yeah, um, observing the environment around you, who you are as seen and perceived by the external world. Now, the sound the chakras emit come from the inside. For example, the sound of the Manipura chakra is similar to crickets. You're buzzing far and away. It's not made by external objects, but they come from within, and your brain hears it. Another example is the sound of your Swadeshana chakra, which is similar to gushing water, flowing water. And then the sound as well of, for example, the lower meridians, the Muladhara chakra, like a rhythmic gushing sensation or air pockets, plop, 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 yes, uh, buzzing or sounding from within. Okay. Now, these uh, sounds emit a vibration which is still physical, yeah, physical, yeah. Personally, when I feel my Shwadishtana chakra is quite active, I could feel my pelvic floor yeah, release energetic vibration in rhythmic intervals. Yeah. When I feel I'm about to enter the samadhi, my hips will feel it too. Yeah, my hips will feel heavy, that I needed to move them to release that, that uh, uh, energy trapped within so I can bring that energy to the higher centers. Okay, so still part of your conscious personality 
However, you acknowledge yeah, that your physical world, the external world, is just an extension of what's inside you. Because by listening to those sounds, you are entering, you're able to enter past that stage. All right. And then the energetic sounds, yeah, the internal body um, sounds, if we pay attention to them, if we develop them, we're also developing our internal system. So it's good for our internal health, the vital organs, because those chakras, those sounds or centers are related to different centers in the brain responsible for our autonomic functions. For example, yeah, the, the sound of the Manipura chakra is related to the eyes, the optic functions. Therefore, by developing the core, yeah, releasing stagnation around the core region, you also you release and then promote the health of your eyesight. Good. And then eventually, yeah, by listening further into the sound, your internal eyes can also awaken. Yeah. So this is now when the, the third yeah, layer of the sound appears. And this sound is more of the cranial sound. Your brain emits and this happens during the initial stages or during the samadhi. Still part of your physical because you know you're meditating, but now you will understand that there is actually yeah, a separate entity dwelling in you. Because during samadhi, your energy detaches. It's the kundalini energy. The kundalini energy shall rise and then your mental energy, yeah, the chitta will separate from you. And then that's now your acknowledgement that, oh, my body is just the temple of this yeah, high divine personality of mine. And because during Samadhi, like you are experiencing the transition from the mortal yeah, to the energetic realm, the spiritual realm. Because your body remains motionless in that experience, but your energy, your mental energy, the chitta is wandering around. Yeah. And then this is actually healing. You know, why? Because by interacting to those dimensions, experiences in that dimension, you're able to acknowledge not just your conscious nature, but also your deep spiritual uh, uh, burden, karmas, the bondage, yeah, the trauma. And then by acknowledging them and accepting them, you're able to rectify and live your current life. Acceptance is the key to healing. Yeah, so that is the association. That personality of ours is now you are understand and you will accept your subconscious nature. So samadhi is actually a healing experience for the soul, for the heart. And then this could unleash your potential creative functions yeah, because you will be awakening centers in the brain yeah, commonly dormant. Okay. And then the sound is similar to uh, the OM, like uh, the sound of the machine, especially after samadhi. Yeah, you will feel your brain vibrates, really vibrate. And then your body will be covered with crawling electricity. Yeah, so... Uh, are you able to follow each stage of the sound corresponds to different manifestation of vibration and experiences as well and the layers of consciousness and personalities we go through and manifest as well. All right, so the sound of the samadhi is mm, sometimes higher pitch, sometimes lower pitch. It's still part of your half conscious and half subconscious personality but now you understand you understand you are not the physical something more yeah, precious divine and sacred is dwelling in you and then by acknowledging it you also acknowledge the divinity of others so see how beautiful meditation is yeah, acceptance and goodwill because what's in me is in you what you have is also within me. Right? When we say namaste, yes, we acknowledge the divinity because you know it firsthand. It exists. Now, yeah, the fourth layer of sound and the vibration happens during the, after the peak of the samadhi. 
really the the trance or the euphoric, euphoric experience shall reach the apex and then your mental energy this energy will be drawn quickly back inside the heart really deep inside here there is a void here it's like a black hole yeah and then that consciousness wandering around will be sucked in back into your heart and your mind will experience and then really witness this that you can enter this big deep deep never ending black hole Good. and then within that realm there's only the om om never ending om deep yeah loud loud but not annoyingly loud it's profound loud so deep and then your brain will go really empty your eyes will see but only darkness pitch black and then you experience this diving of your consciousness back inside the heart where there's a void here it's around the heart and the vibration it emits is actually very deep like you're inside I cannot describe it. There's no physical, um, let's say, representation. Yeah, like you're inside a vacuum. There's nothing there. Only blackness and the vibration coming from the sound of the Om. And that is our divine personality. Who we are. So where we come from. Before we were drawn out of that void. Yeah, the void. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, no fluctuations, just zero, only sound and vibration before, yeah, this existence, we come from that divine self. Yeah, you might call it your creator, you might call it God, but it's within you. It's that realm so deep and profound, you experience your origin as a divine person thank you and i'll see you in the next one namaste